I haven't put the boat back in the water, back in the water over here yet. Um, and yesterday I was looking at it thinking, you know, what can I do to improve this great <clears throat> little tinny? Cross bench seats, twarts, whatever you want to call them. Of course, I have the purpose in, in, uh, in tinnies. They provide flotation, uh, number one, and also uh, hull rigidity. But mine my queen has got gunnels which provide an enormous amount of rigidity and strength to the side of the hull. So I thought do I really need this rear? crossbench well I reckon not I don't think so in fact it's a real hindrance um, <clears throat> it's awkward for the positioning of the uh, um, of the passenger seat so to speak and this thing that was a lot of butterizing around trying to get you know that sort of sorted out so I'm gonna take it off and I've decided that um, that's this afternoon's project. Cutting out the uh, the crossbench. I'm sure the people at Quintrax will be going, what? What's this guy doing? So I recommend do not do this at home on your own vessel unless you are 100% sure that it's not going to affect the structural integrity of your boat. I'm doing this to mine because, well, I own it. And I'm pretty sure that with the configuration of the gunnels, I'm not going to be affecting the structural integrity that much. That's what I think anyway. So as you can see, I've stripped everything away. So I've got a bit of a clear shot now. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, to get this crossbench out without actually cutting it in half. So this thing is really, really well um, um, fixed in, so to speak, you know, because it's got the just in there, as you can tell, welds there. Nice big continuous weld here. And I've, I've sort of figured out that this arrangement underneath actually supports that bit of channel and is hopefully not welded to, to that. Yeah, so I've made a start. Um, yeah, really hard to get the uh, the, the grinder uh, blade, the cutting blade, to get to in there. Well, <clears throat> I can tell you, it's a bloody messy job. That's for sure. Um, yeah, not something that I'd be wanting to do every day, but um, yeah, you sort of got to cut it open like a sardine can um, because the um, flotation um, styrofoam uh, would be uh, glued uh, to the actual um, um, aluminium that makes up the, um, the crossbench. Get a 
just so we'll get the back bit off. Right there. And um, yeah, hopefully be able to rest, get the rest of it out. Lots of this stuff. Um, yeah. It's a mess, but as you can see, I've got a mile of room here. All right, so it's out and it's a real mess. Anyway, um, tomorrow's another day and sort out a bit of a floor and what we're going to do with it. All right, anyway, catch you later. See you tomorrow. Yeah, hey guys, um, back again. Um, yeah, managed to get a hold of a bit of uh, marine carpet. So, um, so that's what she looks like at the moment. So I'm at the the last um, bits to do, which is basically you know getting all the electrics back. I'll just give you just a quick view of how this has all come together. Um, so, um, as you can see, I can sort of walk through there. Uh, I'm trying to keep things out of the way, so the um, the fuel tank um, I've actually moved, um, so it's lengthways front to back rather than sideways. And I've actually put some a uh, bit of aluminium here to stop it from sliding around. So it gives me all this walk space in between to come here and be able to get in and out a lot better. So the isolator switch, basically I don't have to do a hell of a lot to that. Um, the only thing I've got to do is I've actually got to uh, um, lengthen the uh, bilge pump um, uh, wires and that's uh, pretty easy to do. Now. Uh, the side pocket, I actually moved it, um, you would have seen some photos, and uh, it sort of runs from the front here right to the back. I actually think it's giving me a lot more usable space, um, you know, one really long one, everything on one side, uh, and I've got a bit of a rod rack. Um, on, on the other side for you know uh, for rod storage right so job done um, yeah I'm really pleased with it really really pleased with it I feel like I've got a whole new boat Anyway guys, thanks for watching, um, yeah, next video we're going to be out in the water.